Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Today, I wanted to talk about a movie called Watcher. So no, this is not a sequel or a prequel or a remake of the Watcher film from the early 2000s with Keanu Reeves. It's, it's very much in the vein of movies like Unsane, where a woman believes that she's being stalked by someone. Watcher is about a couple that move from New York City to Bucharest. The husband has a new job there. He's a marketing exec, very fancy, and she is an actress. And they move into a new apartment building. And she notices that when she looks out of their big, beautiful, gorgeous windows across the street to a ginormous apartment compound that is not as nice, and that is not as cute, that there appears to be someone looking into her windows every time she's looking out. This is mostly in the evening times that they are looking in. Very much a slow burn film. This movie has a lot of themes that sort of conflict with each other. Some very modern and some not so modern. For example, this idea of woman's intuition. This is something that you see in movies and TV shows and in books and magazines. It's something that is very common, women's intuition. But here, it's more like it's not a benefit and it's not something to rely on. It's interpreted as anxiety or emotional instability. So she's, you know, an American transplant in a whole other country. She's doing the things that one would expect her to do, you know, attempting to learn the language, uh, getting to know her community, getting to know her neighborhood, um, taking short trips, you know, she is not someone who seems to be intimidated by being by herself or being in a new place. And it is during these outings that we start to notice that she is peripherally aware of someone, someone that consistently shows up sort of on the edges of her vision. The events that occur are very gradual and very subtle. Uh, these really great moments of tension where she's shopping in a supermarket and she believes that the same person who's been following her is in the supermarket as well and had followed her there and her attempting to figure out a way to prove her theory. So her husband is very busy at work. He talks about things stressing him at work and how he wants to make a good impression. So he's very much preoccupied with that. So it's very much a subtle emotional battle as things start to get more and more intense between her and her husband where nothing has happened, quote unquote, nothing has happened but she feels the violation of her ability to live her life normally. She feels as though his presence were intruding on her and the way that she moves through the world. So she is attempting to find out more about this person because doing things the polite way did not yield the results that she was seeking. So she's deciding to sort of take things into her own hands to find out who he is, where he lives, and to intervene on her own behalf, which does not work out. At the same time that this is happening, there is a serial killer loose in the vicinity of her neighborhood. <laughs> This person has been stalking and murdering quite gruesomely women. So at the same time, there are these escalating events going on locally. Things go on and she ends up making friends with her neighbor. It sort of puts her at ease to know someone else in the building. They have a very casual friendship and that all seems natural very natural very authentic even the fact that her husband 
was not in support of her, especially some of the actions that she took later to find out who this person was and to confront him. Um, that all felt very natural. It felt like, of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't support her. He's busy with this new job. He is the main breadwinner in their relationship because she's not working as an actress right now. And he doesn't have time for her shenanigans, basically. And really, her and her neighbor friend had a conversation about it. You know, what do you expect the outcome to be? How does she expect for this weird tension between her and this person across the street to end and then we get closer to the conclusion and um her instincts are right on the money there are some very disturbing scenes that are not violent but are extremely unsettling and full of this dread and anticipation. In particular, I'm thinking of the, the scene where she's just left the party pissed off because her husband is trying to be bad guy at a work function and was really rude. And so she decides to leave the party early by herself and take the subway home. And just so happens that this person that she believes has been following her and essentially stalking her is also on the subway and the conversation that they have is so on the surface it seems so casual it seems normal non-threatening but the tone changes and there is a detail that if you haven't seen the movie, you have to pay attention. That's what this movie really encourages the audience to do is pay attention. There are so many cringeworthy details that just like made my skin crawl while I was watching it. And that was one of them, 100%, so well done. The movie is beautifully shot. It has these great modern framed scenes, different views of the apartment, different views of the building. The perspective is often very wide. So you get a full view of the character as they're moving through a space. Um, could be a cafe, could be a convenience store, could be the subway. They really allow you to see the beauty of the city, to see these really historic buildings and this great architecture. And she herself, as the character, appears very chic and very modern. Her clothes, her outfits, very cool girl aesthetic. The buildings themselves tell a story. You see their apartment building, which seems brand spanking new, very modern, huge apartment. And then right across the street where you have this really old building, which I think all of those, all of the visual details of the city provide a lot of help in terms of the world building aspect. There are a lot of details that I liked about this movie and I did add it to my collection. Movies like this where they don't start with acts of violence, it's just, it's very subtle and it's very gradual. And then there's a moment, quiet, a quietly delivered scene where she literally steps into a room and the entire vibe changes like that and it's like, all pretense is over, no use pretending about anything anymore. This is really happening. I highly, highly recommend it. Four out of five. Um, yes, there's, there's a few things that are missing from the story and from the character development, but for what it is, I would give it a four out of five. It's It very much reminds me of those classic Hitchcock thrillers, just just very subtle details like listening to muffled sounds through the wall, keys and doors, footsteps down the hall, those long views where you have like the end of the hallway and the person is standing at the top looking up or down 
sets of spiral stairs. Very well done, very well made, very well acted. I would give this a four out of five. Thank you guys so much for spending your time here with me today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.